Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Groove Lemonade session. This is a Q&A we hold every Thursday in order to answer your questions. And I believe you have quite a lot of questions. And this is the reason we are doing these so I want to welcome you if you are a new member just joined us recently you're very welcome to our group to our company I hope you will find the product useful as everybody is and you will create something awesome with it but in case you just joined you probably have some questions and need to have some pointers and some hand holding on how to start where to go what to do and even for the advanced users or the users that are with us for quite a few time for quite a uh, longer time now um they also need some hand holding so this is where i come in on thursday just to sit down in front of a camera with you lovely people and try to answer all your questions that you have in regards to the software in regards to the to the the features and maybe demonstrate the certain things on how to do in case you get stuck uh keep in mind i'm i'm also still a user of this software and i don't have all the answers but if we don't have the answers we'll make sure we'll find them uh together and this is what is the most important so welcome in case you are just joining in please head over to the comment section i would like to see uh you say hello or something just so that you pop up and i can i can mention you when i'm welcoming people so i can see melissa is here hello david hello everyone christine case is watching us saying hello uh joanne is here i can also see eldon on youtube and eldon on facebook um he is saying hey david lemon and welcome all it's lemonade thursday again time to uh, time to get any serious question on groovy things spinning around your head and bugging you swept away absolutely thank you very much eldon for that one john is watching us uh junior in socal awesome um facebook user saying hi david happy thursday so in case this is you please if you could just click on the on the link in the description of this video it will say streamyard.com forward slash facebook in case you're watching us on facebook you need to approve streamyard to actually give permission to use your use your name and use your profile image so in case you didn't do this one yet please do that one it would be highly appreciated i can see brad is watching us on on youtube darcy hall saying good morning from sunny vegas we greatly appreciate your hand holding david <laughs> you're welcome darcy um i have another facebook user it could be the same facebook user so in case this is you please head over to streamyard.com forward slash facebook this will allow me to see your name and your profile image as everybody else's uh brett case asking how are you thank you very much i'm doing very very good um and i believe you will be as well after i answer a couple of your questions that were bugging you for the past week um so let me just see who else is with us adam is saying hello hi adam it's good to have you here um yes so in case you have questions and you didn't pop them into the into this post which i posted earlier today um with this lovely cute lemonade cup um please just put a queue in front of your questions and then dash and then ask your question something that melissa did over here so queue um so where am i here be below my mouse uh q dash and then your question okay so we will be answering them we'll just go first through these questions over here and then we'll pop right back up to to the questions from the live stream okay i want to give priority to the people that um that put their questions in before um today so that um i have a list and also this helps me prepare in case i still don't know something just so that i look it up and to be able to answer your questions but uh let's just continue on so alicia is here saying hello i have um uh, i have another facebook user saying hi david power so in case this is you please head over to streamyard.com and let me see your name and your profile image so i can answer your questions later on uh, Joffren is here. Hello, my friend. Uh, it's good to have you here, Joffren. Uh, Byron is watching us saying, hello, David. Matthias is here. Hello. Uh, I have another Facebook user. Hi, David. Looking forward to this session. I'm looking forward to seeing you as well. So in case you could, just please, head, please head over to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. There's a link in the description of the video. Um, just click on it, and then it will allow me to see your name as moira did so i can see your see moira's uh, profile image and moira's um 
name so I can answer her question directly. Okay, so Richie is here with us, and Christine Case popped in this link. So in case you are wondering where to look for it, just you can just click the the link that Christine posted. Uh, dun, 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 dun. And Navid, in case you have questions, please put a queue in front of it, as Eldon is saying, so that I can find your question. In case um, you don't put a queue, I may miss your questions. So please just put a queue, dash, and then your question. That would be appreciated, okay? Um, dun, dun, dun. Great. Dean, hey, David. Oh, it's good to have you here, Dean. Um, Martin is here. Carol is watching us. Terence is here. Pastor Tom is watching us. Uh, Eric is watching us. So there's a lot of people that are here, and I'm looking forward to seeing your questions. So one more time, please put a Q in front of your question, Q dash, and then ask away something like Matthias did, or Q and column or dash, anything just so that I can see when I'm scrolling through all your comments the, so I can find your question and answer it. But I believe we are ready to start our Q&A session. Thank you very much for joining in one more time. And I will be... Um, I will be starting with this list over here. I have 23 comments. It is not... It doesn't have to be that most of them are comments. Sometimes people answer each other's uh, questions, but most of them will be questions. So let's just see a question from Callum. Or, um, how to publish the page site so that you can see the page URL option in the page settings. OK, so whenever you create a page or a pay or a site, so this is a blank site that I created. I'll just create um, a page on it. Let's just say that this will be, oops. This will be the page I will be using. So now I have a site with two pages. One of them, the one of the pages is called home over here, and the other page is called page two. So the home page will always show up in the root domain. So in case I have my domain connected here, which is, um, I was using this in previous uh, uh, previous videos, I have a domain that is called grooveadvisor.com. Okay, so in case I would publish this page with a custom domain grooveadvisor.com. Okay, let's just see if it works. I'm not quite sure if it will, but let's just have a look. The home page, which is not this page, but the blank page where we will put some content, let's just say that we put in this black box with some text okay so when you load in grooveadvisor.com this is what should show up this is our home page it says that this is the index okay so this is the home page let's just republish and test it out if it works um okay so let's just refresh here we go so grooveadvisor.com and now we have a black box black block which we put in as you can see it is showing up on the url grooveadvisor.com so how would we actually see the second page without putting in a menu the second page as you can see here has a url the, the forward slash page minus two so this is the url and if we type in grooveadvisor.com forward slash page minus two this is the page that loads in okay so you can change this url for yourself and in the edit settings of the page here it says page url if we change this to, I don't know, agency, like that, so it will be forward slash agency. If we publish this page like that, it will get pushed on the internet so that the page two doesn't exist anymore. So if I reload the, this Groove Advisor forward slash page two, it should give me a 404 error. However, if you load in agency, so grooveadvisor.com forward slash agency, we will be getting this page. And you can see that this page is loaded now. So let's try to, to load in again the page, minus two. It should be giving us a 404 error. And it is a cached site. So let's just do on a incognito window. It still loads in for some reason, I believe, because it is a Cloudflare caching. So I have uh, the domain connected with Cloudflare. But now it will be opening on forward slash agency. So let me just do another one. And let's just use a template, any template over here, which we'll be using here, this instant lead generation. So now it, it, it says that it is called page three, as you can see, page forward slash page dash three. Let's just change this to 
orange button something like that for for this orange button over here orange dash button and check mark and publish so what i believe his question is so colin's question is how can we actually see the full url of this page so in case we come over here we see only groove advisor why we don't see groove advisor forward slash orange button so this is not something that we see because this publishing is for the site so this is for the site that is getting published the whole all the pages so we see only the domain where the site is published but for the pages we can see them over here to forward slash orange button so let's just do let's just try to visit forward slash orange dash button load in this you can see that it loads in so i understand the question you're asking most probably why you cannot see the full uh, page domain so you, in case you're on this page why you cannot see the domain over here this is because this these settings are for the site and publishing your domain the, the whole site on the domain and then the page settings are over here so these are two separate sections that are separated <clears throat> I believe um, at later point we will have something that you will be able to just simply click on the domain or the so in case you open the page three this is the orange button you will see somewhere in there that this is uh, published on grooveadvisor.com forward slash orange button at this point we still don't have it but you can see it over here so that is the explanation of the first question how to find a missing page site that are still active on the web so Mm, I don't know if if you are thinking about groove pages let me just move this banner away we don't need it so in case you're talking about a groove pages site then basically you need to come into your sites which are which are over here so you would need to go in each and every one of them and see if there are any pages so for example for this case I was using a page that I just built over here as you can see this one if I click on it you can see that the pages are here so these are the pages that are published online and there is no easier way to to find the missing pages in the sites just to go into each and every one of your sites and look for the page that you somehow missed um, Jayesh I believe this is how it is pronounced if a customer sends an email to cancel the order during trial period what action I should take on Groove Sale to cancel the order? So, if you set up a product, let me just go in there. I will leave Groove Pages open because I believe there will be a lot more questions that I need to demonstrate. So, if you go into your product that you set up, for example, this Lemonade demo, and you edit this product, so you're talking about setting up the the pricing to a trial let's just do a one bottle let's just set up this trial and let's just do a zero zero dollars for seven days and then after that the price is 497 for something okay let's just save this immediately the content contents will need to be changed because on the thank you page we have now uh, yeah we didn't add on a price point so that's fine so what we did is we have a pricing set up with a trial. However, this still needs to be um, set up inside of the checkout, I believe. I oh, know, contents. So in the refund period, you set up the refund period. So the trial is seven days. And after the seven days, the refund period is seven days. Okay. So this is the, the, the period that needs to pass so that you can actually uh, refund somebody. So let's just say that you have a seven day trial period and then after five days during the trial period, you can refund or you can just delete this refund period. You can just put zero. Um, so whenever you want, you can refund them. This needs to be set up in order so that you can go in to your orders, which will show up. Oh yeah, I clicked out groove cell which will show up in the reporting okay so i want to filter all the the products that i sold in the lemonade funnel okay apply filter and apply the dates all time so 
these are the people that purchased the, this product from me okay it was not on a trial or it was not on a on a normal it is just a normal price so i can click over here and then go here refund transaction but this refund period as you can see here it needs to pass so after the refund period is gone after these two days were gone now you will be able to refund the transaction okay refund period exceeded this transaction is currently passes okay so the refund period yeah so yeah the refund period was actually two days so in these two days you could have refunded them um after this has passed it doesn't actually as you can see it is not allowing so um let me revert back i was telling you that this refund period needs to pass and then you can refund it no i i i may say i said a mistake um you can refund them inside this refund period and then after that it doesn't allow you so this is what i wanted to say i just didn't word it correctly so in the reporting when you find the order during the refund period you will be able to refund um good let's just see the other question from uh jayesh i want to join this webinar what is the link where can i join i'm a new member okay so jayesh um and for everybody that is new whenever you see something that that we, we post like there will be a live session and if there is no link this will be inside a group and on youtube so if we say 12 p.m eastern standard time it will be posted in the group and as you can see let me just open uh, the group or i would do it this way um first you will see the pinned post which is the the post that we are promoting usually and then after that most of the times you will see the live session going on as you can see here because a lot of comments are coming in so it is bumping the post up and up and up so the lives will always be on on the first non-promoted space in the facebook group okay or you can also visit our youtube channel which is youtube forward slash groove digital or there you will see the live there is a live video going on live uh like this and then you will be able to to join us in case you missed it you just click on the videos and the, the last video will be showing up here so this is how you can see if you missed a live stream good so let me just head over to the questions from darcy um look for a new line okay so i believe darcy answered this exact question it will be over here yes yeah, so perfect um exactly what i said just earlier now okay carla what is the state of the click funnels import my business is waiting it is uh, all well and good to copy and paste template but the template must be editable without having to be bogged uh, down by code um yes carla this is not something i can tell you a set date on we are working on this click funnels which is not exactly an issue that is on our side it is click funnels that is doing the issue they don't want you to leave so carla in case you're watching this one you will probably need to wait a bit longer until we we come up with a solution to um to actually pull in your pages from from click funnels we still have certain issues with alignments and containers and, and a lot of different containers putting in uh, pulling pulled in which is not needed so it's still being developed but if I don't suggest you to wait with your business. If you created your page in ClickFunnels, you can just transfer them over, just rebuild them manually. Like uh, on your page in Click, I know it, it it is much easier to use just a cloning tool, but I believe this is just an excuse if you're saying um, that I cannot start my business because I'm waiting for this. Don't wait. Like just get on the next option okay so this option is not an, a viable option yet let's just have a look at the other solution so don't wait with your with your with your site in case you really want to uh, to start your business you will need to find a way to do it otherwise as tom bill always says uh, blocks and challenges with, will always come to your business it will always come in life you need to find a way to to get away get around those challenges if you just sit and wait like this okay like i'm waiting for the cloning tool my business is struggling and like that's not how you do how you do business business and entrepreneurship is finding a problem solving the problem for customers but now you have yourself a problem so you need to find a way to solve that problem and what i suggest is just to rebuild it i know that we promised this import tool but it's it is there it's not finished completely and also a big 
issue is that ClickFunnels is blocking it. So you'll need to find a, a, another way. And Simone or Sa yeah, Simone as well. Um, don't rely all your business on technology. You are the business owner. You are the business creator. You need to be the the, the, the leader, the guide, the guide of your business. Technology will change, and there will be bugs and things like this. But you can decide if this will be an issue for you or you will find a solution that will actually get around it um vicky how to share a template from groovefunnels uh, for others who to use on groovefunnels i want to sell templates very good question so let me just share uh, share this one with you uh, let's just say that let me just show you one of the, the pages i built okay so for example let's just say that this is a page i built and this is a page i built so i want to use this as a template to somebody else okay so i will just come over here copy this code over like that and you can either open notepad and paste that code in save it save as let's just put it on my desktop as you can see i have already here a couple of them and let's just say that this is the brick this is the brick template because it has a background of the bricks just for me to understand great so now this notepad file is your product you can send this over by mail you can upload them online and offer it as a downloadable product for example i use dropler i'll just go on to dropler and just upload this product very quickly so i will click here i will find my uh my brick template which is over here now it is uploading <clears throat> and now i have a link that i could use and i can connect to a button for example i want this button it's a form submit button so i will probably need to find a different one um so i want this button on my page to be the download link come on here we go so if somebody clicks this button i want it to go to a url which is this one and then people will be able to download my file okay so let's just um, save it it will not work because i will be previewing it let me just see if this was yeah I'll let me just publish it so <clears throat> so simply i created a downloadable downloadable uh, template so if you download this one you will get this uh, notepad on your on your computer and then the next step is for your customers to explain them that they need to have a blank page like this let's just say that i'm now a client and i purchased your product i downloaded that uh that template and i will go on to my desktop i will open this brick template like that i will copy it over will come to my um to my canvas click over here so between the save and between the i button i will click over here paste the code in click save and as you can see now it is showing up here everything is editable so everything is remembering the settings that were set up previously and you can just very quickly go and configure it and then that is it very simple question two i know everything is still in beta but what can i do completely on groovefunnels i want to make uh i want to market this to my audience but it gets confusing with things that are released but not fully functional what's one win i can give my audience like this i cannot tell you what is functioning what is not functioning there is a page that has hundreds of things that are marked as as not working yet and we are every day our developers are going in the feedback.groovefunnels.com and then they are as you can see there is 1400 uh, bug reports there is feature requests and there are some that uh, were already done and like features are com always added and 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 breaking when we add new features sometimes they break the earlier ones so it is still a, a in process you cannot find a list where it says this is 100 working will never be broken this is 100 working okay this is 100 not working because by the time we compile the list 
it may have been the issues may have been fixed so you cannot find an um, like an executive official document where it marks what is working what is not working um most of the things are working that need to be used that i use on a daily level if it's some if something is broken it is reported so you will be able to find it in the bug reports in the feedback site i showed you earlier but there is no definitive document which marks and and says that this is um, this is working. This is not working. How do I add affiliates to custom commission overrides? I click the affiliate button, but the affiliates I'm trying to add cannot be found. I have checked that they are affiliates for the correct product funnel. Okay, let me just see. So I'm not quite sure um, because I don't have it, uh, affiliates yet. So <clears throat> let's just go into Groove Cell. <coughs> sorry guys um i'll just find an affiliate portal for the actually i will turn on the affiliate option for this lemonade demo okay let me just turn on the affiliate oh i have very good news to share with you please guys in case you're staying until the end of this live stream just mention david share uh, share with us the good news or share with us the news um we will do that around the two hour mark two hour mark i believe or let's just see how long it, it goes so let me just see okay so the affiliate thing is turned on for this um so now i can come to my affiliate portal and i want to get a link for this one this is for lemonade demo okay i have a link for it paste okay so i will share this with you guys if you could uh, this is not something i'm selling this is set up as a test product i will share here on on YouTube and also in the Facebook in case you could just log in with your account this is just a demo product I would like to uh, to test this and see if it is a bug or if there is a solution so I would appreciate in case you could just click on this and help me find out to be able to answer uh, Tim Cooper because I don't have affiliates yet on my on this test product that I set up so I'm not able to test uh, if this is a bug or if this is just something that needs to be discovered how to be done how do you remove remove a domain to a published site that is a great question and let me answer this one to you uh, not answer to you but give an answer to you <laughs> anyway okay so as you've seen in this uh, live uh, lemonade session we published this site to be on grooveadvisor.com if i want to unplug unpublish the site i delete this i uncheck and i publish okay so you've seen previously i went to grooveadvisor.com and it loaded in the site let's just open an incognito window and type in grooveadvisor.com and it's you can see now this page comes up that there's no 404 page a 404 page shows up when the domain is connected so this page shows up because this is a, a domain that is still connected in the domain settings so the dns records are pointing to groove pages but dom the domain is not connected to a particular site yet so this is how you can unpublish a site in case you really want to make it disappear so that there is nothing connected to groove pages I would suggest you to go to Cloudflare and then delete the DNS records that are pointing to, to Groove pages. Okay, I'll do this quickly just to show you the demo, just to have a full understanding of it. But basically, inside Groove pages, in case you just delete the domain, uncheck that mark or uncheck the custom domain, it will be unpublishing it. So, as you can see here, I have grooveadvisor.com and the www pointing to host10.groovepages.com and this is why it doesn't give me the the just a, a normal black uh, blank screen but it gives me page which says groove pages okay so this is why in case you don't want these you can just click in and delete it and then it will not be tied to groove pages anymore good so that is an answer to max angie missy minucci okay that's a great last name um 
can you explain the structure of a block container then element like when you do uh, when do you need a new block versus container which do you need to add a two column etc elements never seem to go where i drag them so the dragging uh, is not tied to containers or blocks the dragging is just something that needs to be exercised i believe um so but a good question though so let me just answer um let me just delete everything from here and now as you can see i have an empty page so if i want to start i cannot put in a new column or just a container so with this now we know that there needs to be a block so i will pull in an empty empty block which when you click on it you can see that there is a container on the block so with this understanding the block is the base let's just imagine a block as a piece of paper and then the container on it is let's just say that that is when you put the hand on a paper so that you can start drawing or type or writing something okay so this is the container the elements will be the things that you draw or write on the piece of paper so now when we click on this uh, heading it says text that is in the container on the block okay so the base element is the block then block needs to have a container and the element needs to go in the container okay so i created a video on this one if you type in hierarchy which explains this a groove pages page hierarchy i explained this in depth and this was one of my first videos where i went in and then demonstrated uh, like a over here and how how it works so you can put in in a container you can put in columns as well and in the columns you can put in elements but also you can put in elements only in the container so this element can come also in the orange container so it doesn't have to be in columns so i suggest you type in groove page hierarchy i inside the groove uh, digital facebook uh, group or in, in the youtube channel you'll find this video about the hierarchy and it will be explaining you this exact thing what you also asked is a is something that i didn't explain um like when do you need a new block versus con or which do you need to add a two column etc elements never seem to go okay so there is two ways you can do uh you can do columns okay so let's just have a look what happens when we pull in a, a two column block like that so if we click over here you can see that this is a container which is on the layout two by two inside a container on the block okay so this happens over here as well so this was a two column block what happens if we just pull in an empty block which will as we know now have container on the block but we pull in a two columns okay it is the exact same thing so if we click on it you can see that there is a container in the layout two by two on a con in a container on the block which is the same exact thing so if you're if you're playing with um with these columns you have the option to pull in a block a two column block or three column block or to pull in an empty block and then pull it on a on a two column layout but for that one to understand i suggest you to watch this uh, groove pages hierarchy i explained it i believe well in this video um so that's something i suggest you to watch in case you're interested smart life pauline there are tons of tutorials uh, here and out there Wh which tutorials show all how to build a website from scratch on how to use all most of the functions and feature in groove page uh, create add new page the purpose of subdomain element etc so smart life pauline um there is no definitive guide that exactly answers all your questions and then shows all the features you need i don't know all the features you need i showed in a previous video on how to create a website with multiple pages like, let's just type in website multi-page website so creating a multi-page website i believe this is the definitive guide what you're looking for but i don't know what features you need so there is no one video where it shows all or most of the functions and features in groove page this is just not possible there's so much things to learn so much things that you can do it's like photoshop can you actually create a pay of a, a photo with all the tools from photoshop no 
no, that's impossible because there's so much thing that you that relate to different things that are that are it's just not not possible to do in a one video so you need to know what you want to create and if you know what to create you can find um find out what you need to use to create that thing otherwise i cannot show you all the features because that would be probably a, a one month video uh, without stopping how can we use the same domain across multiple sites click funnels allows for one domain or multiple domains with a different path on each or different sites will that be something that's coming to group funnel soon is there a recent video training okay so these are two questions how can we use the same domain across multiple sites so that is not something that we are doing and we will not be doing that we will encourage one domain with one site and when I'm when I say site, I mean something that you create over here. So this is one site. This is a second site. This is a third site. So if you have a free account, you can have three sites, and each of these sites can have a custom domain. So this can have a custom domain. This can have a custom domain, and this can have a custom domain. You cannot have one custom domain connected to all three sites at the same time. This is not something we allow, and you can go around with creating subdomains in cloudflare but very soon this will not be an option anymore once the funnel organization feature comes out it will not allow you to do that it will make a mess of your domains because it will have a different organization and style and it will be putting urls and and different paths uh differently um so it will not be an option so just use one domain one site okay um and also later on we will have a global domain option inside the the my account so here there will be my, uh, my domain setup you will be able to set up your domains inside the groove funnels something similar what click funnel does but ours will be better you will be able to uh, to purchase domains as well as on other platforms and you will also have uh, the inbuilt cloudflare which gives you CSS, um, security, faster loading speeds, and things like that. Uh, SSL, what, what I said, CSS, I meant CDN, sorry, CDN for loading speeds and things like this. Is there a recent video or training on how to set up pop-ups? If so, could you point me to the video? Otherwise, uh, it would be great if you created one. Um, I actually did yesterday one, so let me just share that with you. There was a person that was having issues with creating pop-ups pop-up form setup so i can just link this one into you um that's that was created yesterday so i don't have a more recent one than this one but it will show you what you need to do can i build an e-commerce store so this was i just want to mention uh, just a note isai arroyo or rojo i'm not quite sure how to pronounce your name but this was a direct response to a customer that was having issues however i go in this video through the whole process of setting up a, a pop-up so you can have a look at this one but there is a, a a different video inside the inside the facebook group as well which is under um under the tutorial sections so in case you come over here or just type in pop-up but in case you come over here to tutorials and it was one of the first videos that i created so you will need to scroll down a bit okay it will be soon as you can see i publish a lot of content um one of these here yeah planning to create a sign up form using a pop-up this is the video that was created in may 11th this goes in more depth of how to do that so you can actually follow this one as well um Can I build an e-commerce store on Groovecart and sell the store like Shopify does? You will be able to do that. I didn't see the technology behind it and how it will be organized, but I believe it will be something similar to this one. When you come to Groovecart, I believe it will be giving you uh, options. As you probably know, you've seen Donna's post. Uh, recently, she posted that there will be an option to create unlimited number of stores, even on the free account. So. I believe the organization will be something like this so this will be one store this will be another store this will be the third store so using this type of 
technique uh, of organization, you will be able to actually create a store and sell it. We are also working on, on organizing and having the options to, to create templates and sell templates. And this was already a feature of GrooveCart. Let me just... Let me just go into GrooveCart and, and test it out if it is still there. So my.groovecart.com. <clears throat> just log in quickly and see if... Finally, they removed that, that loading thingy. Um, so this was in the builder. When you went in the builder, there was, uh, there was an option to choose a, a layout somewhere in the settings. I don't think I see this option anymore. There was an option to actually save the theme, but I believe this will need to be added to the new uh, GrooveCart 2.0 look. So yeah, that one will be coming as well. Um, I have been informed that GrooveMail is available this week. Can you confirm when the autoresponder element of GrooveMail will be ready to use? I can confirm the latest info that I know and this you can see as well this is public information which was posted inside announcement tab and i don't know why this is here oh, i will not do it um actually let's just search for donna donna posted it donna fox and this was this image so if you were wondering where or when GrooveMail will be out. The latest info from our Groove developers is I don't see any reason why GrooveMail won't be released on Monday. And that is Monday the 14th. So that is the latest information from September the 8th, which was uh, Tuesday, two days ago. So in case you are wondering, this is the this is the latest news about GrooveMail. So there we go. Um, yes, see if import share funnel. I believe I touched up on that. If you've seen the video about the import feature, you know if you haven't yet, please head over to the announcements tab over here or just search for page import. Uh, I'll just find it here this way. This was there was a video I created with Donna Fox. Uh, about the page import feature, which you can see it is August 29th. Um, we explained that ClickFunnels is blocking us and not allowing you to actually transfer your funnels. They want to they want to keep you as a paying customers and, and they basically made it hard for you to, to, to transfer over to a different platform. So about ClickFunnels imports, there needs to be a bit more time until our developers find a solution around that. When building a page, I keep all the devices selected at the top of the screen. Perfect. However, when I click on the individual device, I, example, mobile phone, the device is all over the place. Can I? How can I keep the design consistent uh, over all devices without having to go in and individually adapt each one? So you cannot do that without having to go and individually adapt each one. In case you're designing for all the devices, that means you're probably looking on the on a big screen. So you're prob probably designing your site for um, like this, so that you're looking on a big screen, but you are editing on all the pages. So I know, I'm not quite sure if I uh, made this site responsive, but let's just have a look. So I believe I did. Some of the things are missing, but I believe I did. So as you can see, some of the some of the elements are too big. For example, this image, I want to make it smaller on a mobile. So I cannot do that with all of them selected because on the big screen, this looks good. But on a mobile, I actually want only on the mobile device to change the sizing of this image. And I'll choose relative to the page and then do this. Like I want a smaller image. Let's just center it this way like that and now we have it centered on the page on a bigger bigger devices it will not be changing or actually it, if it changed then this is because we just need to say to the to the to the device how we want it to look like so if we want it small or if we want it 100% i believe the setting was 100% like this and it was put back on this one so yeah we just need to edit it so that it looks it looks 
different when we actually edit one as we want we just need to put it back so that it looks um looks according to what we want so let's just put back uh, auto let's just do this one over here it this site is an older site well you can see a stylable elements this is not something you want on your pages i built this somewhere in june so this is why most probably the site is broken but in case we see the, the newer sites that you can create now it wouldn't it would just resize accordingly so in case you have an older site you will need a bit more tweaking but in case you have a, a newer site let's just do this text size smaller on the, on the mobile device as you can see on the bigger screens you just need to pop it back to how you want it and then it will be appearing uh, big on the on the bigger screens but on the small screen it will be small so that's something that uh, you need to know but there is a video as well for that one and i suggest you to watch the video for this one okay so i will share this video with you over here in the comments yes you do oops i pressed a, an extra button over here There we go. So this is the video I suggest you to watch. Moira, how do you make boxes look pretty with a drop shadow, for example? That's a great question. Let me just show you quickly. Let me delete everything from the page. Um, so let's just create... Let's just create a menu, for example. I have, ha I have two pages but I want to have a menu on the home page. And I want to show you what I mean by a menu. So I, on here, I want to have some some text. Actually, not this one. I will I will pull in a title description, title and paragraph, and then a button. Where is a button? Here is a button, like that. So I will put my title. This is a thing. Also center it, make it bold and make it big like that. Okay. I don't need all this text, so I'll just delete it and make it centered. And also I will do a bit of tweaking on this button, make it a bit more visible. I will do text this click here okay there we go so now i want to make everything vertically centered and i want to just make this a bit wider okay let's just do a border as well just for kicks like that so now on here i want to add on some some top and bottom padding uh, you may be asking why you're not using the drag the drag handles i I believe working with this is a bit faster in my opinion at this point yet. So let's just make this a bit like that. And then the, the upper container, I want to make with a rounded corners. Let's just do 0.5, okay? So now, as you can see, I have this container selected and I did some editing on it, like very quickly. I can add on shadow and now it immediately looks good because I styled it, uh, styled it like that. So let me just add on a bit of margin on the top so that my, um, so that is visible. So as you can see, I didn't change the background color. I didn't do anything. It is still white, but because of the shadow, it looks a bit more like popped out. So there is still a bit more tweaking necessary on here. For example, I want to add on uh, left and right paddings like that but now approximately it would be looking good so now you can create a menu like that and this is a container i didn't do anything special i just clicked over here and you can do this on here as well and on here as well so you will have three um exactly the same uh containers let me just try to pull this over and see if it is working yeah it is working let me just re do that on the third one and as you can see when i select this container i just need to add on the shadow that i did previously 
and I have I don't know which one I used Excel probably I have a very similar looking container I would probably just need to add on a bit of more borders like 0.5 I know I was using and then it looks it looks almost identical um, there we go so on here I did a different shadow and that and on here so you can see it you can you can style these containers pretty nicely with shadows it, it looks more more in in the face um, but yeah how to set up a butterfly marketing funnel so that you can have a free user at one commission level and a paid at another so this is this is possible to do um, so when you sell a product your customers are not automatically uh, affiliates yet when you actually create a product people that purchase it still need to log in to your promo tools so that they can um, basically in other words they need to sign up as i as you've seen i shared the <clears throat> shared the link previously to to ask you guys to 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 sign up for this promo tools and this is to actually sign up for my affiliate kind of program which i created well, let me find it quickly um but this what this is needed this kind of link is needed um for your users here we go so this david lemonade group sell that this is needed to be seen by the customers that purchase your your product either on a page or either you send them in an, uh, the link in the email once they log in or once they register they will be now your affiliates um this will be changed i believe um mike has big plans with this butterfly marketing so some of the features are not quite there yet but after that if they signed up then they can they can promote for you um with this said they you can i'm not quite sure how you would be able to to have uh without automatic affiliate thing how you would be able to have affiliates on a free level and and how you would be able to have affiliates on the paid level i believe this feature is not out yet but don't hold me uh, on this uh, like i believe i said i believe i'm not 100 percent uh certain there will be butterfly marketing funnels as what we are doing with groove funnels available at some point but we're still in development of a lot of our features needed to do a proper butterfly marketing funnel um obina charles i'm new to groove cart and was following a recorded version of the 60 day challenge it seems that the interface in the webinar and the correct state of groove cart is different so i couldn't implement most of the hands hands on exercises i guess it's because new version of group cut will be launched on 14th of september is there going to be another 60 day challenge yes we will have another 60 day challenge and i believe um i will be more active in that the uh, groove card challenge as well um we are developing so <laughs> in the first groove card challenge that we did we also did a big update on the interface and now in this groove card challenge we also did an update so it is hard to actually create um, like on point trainings because our platforms are changing so much so quickly that we just need to do a new one, a new one, a new one until the development like big features uh, doesn't finalize or gets more stable. But I don't seem that i don't think that it's it's correct when you're saying you cannot follow it because the buttons are on the same on the different place the features are the same we didn't uh, we didn't add on new or a couple of new features like the undo button and things like this but just the just the dashboard was changed a little bit most of the things are still in the same place exactly where they were it's just that the that dashboard looks this looks a bit different uh with different colors with different wordings maybe but everything is the same the concept is the same so in case you watch a 60 day uh, groove card challenge you're still watching the same groove card challenge it's just a different colored buttons different colors or different positioned things so i don't think that what you're saying is correct that you can absolutely not follow because everything is different that is it's just the visual aspect of it is different but what what you can learn is is still the same will groove mail be fully functional when it is released or no it will not be or will it be still in beta with some elements not there yet tagging ability to drip campaigns so i am not 
familiar with what functions will be available once it is out but it will be still in beta mode as you've seen all our new software is is coming out and still has a lot of features that are missing and it is absolutely not uh, an option that we put out fully uh, developed with all the features that we have planned um, app in this small amount of time so if you come here to groove funnels on forward slash infographic um, you can see that the groove mail will be coming off first which is over here it is scheduled for september 14th then after that there will be other features coming to groove mail which is for example uh, list imports and then on canvas layout okay so this is something else um yeah so the list imports for groove mail this is another feature that will be coming and then later on we'll have more and more and more features coming to groove mail i'm not very familiar with all with all the features that will be out immediately but it will be in beta mode I purchased the domain in Namecheap. I published my test site to see the outcome. I did some editing and republishing using the same domain. Unfortunately, it says uh, an error says domain unavailable. I watched your past video uh, resetting re resetting the DNS in Namecheap, but I still have the error domain unavailable. Is there around? Is there another workaround with this issue? Thanks and more power. Um, so. Kimi P, I believe what you're trying to do is have the same custom domain on two two of your sites. Um, I believe that is not possible. I not believe. I know that this is not possible, and this is why you're trying. To, this is why you're getting the same error. You can have one site with one domain. So this is one site. You can have one domain that is bought on Namecheap that is per that is connected to Cloudflare. You can have one domain connected to one site. Okay. Um, you can do a subdomain, which I don't suggest you to do. You can do a subdomain connected to, to for example, one is uh, something.groove.com. Uh, that would be a subdomain which you can use. So something.groove.com and groove.com. So this is possible. I don't suggest you to do that because it will mix up later on all your links when you need to, you will need to change this at one point when the funnel organization comes out. So I don't suggest you to go into this, but I believe that is the issue. Question from Darcy, and this is the last one on my page over here. Uh, what do each of the horizontal, vertical, primary, uh, secondary options do in layout? I'd love to see a short walk through demonstrating each one. Note, I tried experimenting with each setting and often don't see any change. So I'm not sure if bug on my end or I'm doing something wrong. Thank you. So Darcy, this question, I believe I answered a couple of times, but let me just do it one more time. Um, so the positioning is happening in the containers. And I will demonstrate it with a new page. Okay. So what you will see in the container, these positioning elements are for CSS. So what you see here is imagine like a cockpit of an airplane. This is your cockpit. The builder is the cockpit of the airplane. The engine and all the things that you don't see in the airplane are the, the code of this cockpit. Okay. So the code is using HTML, CSS, and other kinds of different code that I'm, I'm not even familiar with. But what you're doing is directing the, the engine, directing the things inside the airplane using this builder to, to do certain things. So what I'm saying is that the builder is the control center. So you are using this to control the code, to control the backend code. So whenever you set up the container to, to be horizontally or vertically centered, this is converting the buttons that you press inside your cockpit, inside the builder, to do a certain task inside the backend of the code. So most of the things you see here are here because the code requires it okay so it doesn't mean that you have to use it it doesn't mean that you have to use all of this it just needs to be there because the code requires it so if we resize this uh, container a bit bigger and now we have a button set up by default in the upper left hand side corner okay if we click on vert uh, on direction horizontal you can see that this happens but when we put it uh, to be to the primary um, direction to be 
left aligned and then top aligned then this is what we get this is the default setting we want to center align something this is the secondary so the primary is set up that this is the most important please remember this setting so that the left aligned or basically left aligned and then um, center it on the page okay so now this is our setting if i click over here then this is um, pushing it on the top on the left hand side so this is the same thing with the vertical but you're just saying that the vertical is the primary so a vertical which is this okay so center it on the top center it on the in the center in the middle or on the bottom so this is different things that you can play with you may be thinking why not just have no horizontal and no vertical just do this it is also an option but we want to give you more uh, more options when we add on new features for positioning and dragging and dropping because the code requires it the code needs needs to know okay horizontal so many pixels or so many uh, the position horizontally is this and then vertically is this so this is why the directions over here matter and let's just say now you have everything centered in a horizontal and the vertical this is the same because it is it is center center but let's just say that we want uh, vertically first to be on the bottom and then secondary to be on the left hand side but if we change it to horizontal this is a different setting now because now the primary setting is to be on the left oh sorry on the right which is in the camera on this side and then to be on the top okay so vertical and horizontal settings are important because it needs to tell the the code where to position elements on the page so that's basically the answer um I hope it was clear then the z index i will do a video on this one i will do a, a short video on that is showing what element needs to go on the top so let me just try to do let me just try to duplicate this okay um so now i will do one of the buttons to be to be green and the other button to be red okay so now i can set up my green button to be using the negative margin so this z index is using the negative margin as you can see now does now the green button i should center everything in the middle now the green button is covering the red button but if i set up the z index of the red button um to be to be higher so this, the, the green button is now on zero with the Z index, but the red button is higher. So it is like the depth of what is covering what. So it is it is like this. So you are playing with a Z index. Now, if I put the green button to have a number two, then it's going. So now the red button has the value one, but the green has a number two, so it's on the top. So now if I come into the to the red button and put value three it will again be on the top so this is how you can stack up things uh to show which would be on the top which will be on the bottom this is done using the z index so that was the last question here from darcy i need to get a sip of water um i believe i did a good job on this one did i do the did i do a good job guys i need some reassurance all i see is questions here questions here question here question here <laughs> so um bro how much are you making monthly um eh. <laughs> good explanation thank you very much um kimi p thank you for answering my query uh to clarify the same qu same page i made after publishing the domain can't be edited even i am using the same domain thank you you cannot use the same domain on a different page uh or, or no you can use on this different page but on a different site you cannot use it yeah yes <laughs> Leonel saying you're doing a great job david great job fantastic thank you okay good <laughs> oh you always over deliver that's what i'm trying to do as you can see i don't have lemonade this time i just have a bottle of water good job thanks david absolutely um so now the questions from the live stream are going to be answered so 
first question I received was from Melissa I've been having problems getting pages to look good on different devices I'm wondering if the if I'm using flex block options wrong or is this something else I'm doing wrong so in case you're starting Melissa in case you're starting out don't use any flex don't use any block this is some CSS properties that will have time later on when you are uh, when you are confident enough inside uh, the builder without these options okay so head over to this video over here um, for building a domain a simple domain for sale page i believe this is the video where i completely simplified the the responsiveness option and if you follow this video you will have a very very good grasp and understanding and you will be confident in your responsiveness options if you redo what i'm doing here just like take an hour of your time and then completely rebuild what i'm doing here step by step if i say like increase the size of this text only on the on a desktop device you follow this one and after that after the video has ended you will understand responsiveness um okay question is a slider feature planned to be released on groove pages we have a carousel element which you can use a kind of as a slider i don't like it and i don't suggest you use sliders it is good to have something more visual and something interactive for the users but it is like the less slider use sliders you could use the better i believe wordpress sites have a lot of these dynamic and visual elements that just slow down the site a lot so as you can see here in the elements in the in the media section there is a carousel element um, just next to the vimeo video or here if you pull out the carousel element you click on this one you can configure the carousel so if you say like i want three slides you will have three options to put in images so this works with images only at this point. So let's just say I want to use this image over here. Oh, this is 4,000 pixels. I don't want actually this one. Um, let's just see some small images. 700, awesome. Um, I'll use this one. I use the other image, this one. Perfect and i'll use the third image and i chose these images they are all 700 pixels in width but they are all different in height so as you can see the first image is 524 pixels the third the second image is 432 in height and 399 in height so this will look strange and let me show you why let's just save and let's just preview it says please note that the carousel will not work on the canvas so you cannot see it moving uh, use the live preview to see the carousel in action okay so let's just click on the preview and see it in action as you can see here now i have buttons which i can click to move the carousel however if you have a look my my height of the carousel is different and then the width is the same but the images are not looking nice and this is because of the height if you have images the same height you will have a better looking carousel so a tip to have the carousel element displaying nicely to resize your images to be the same height the same width okay so the image you want to put in a slider or is carousel element make sure that they're all same size the same height same width and this way you can have a pretty carousel let's just redo this carousel with the same exact image okay so i'll use this over here hopefully it will be showing up nicer okay let's just see the can i resize this i don't know this is just some testing now let me just see okay so now you can see that there is a button because uh, yeah even if even without the resizing i believe this will happen let's just say because the the image is now the same size ah uh, yeah this is the container okay good to know um the images is the same size the same height the when we actually pull this container over here 
this is where the button will happen so what actually happens when we add on some some padding on the sides like that <laughs> i'm actually testing this one guys with you i didn't play with it enough yet yeah still the, the button is showing up inside the image even if we do padding so i believe margin is needed to do this one but yeah if we put the, the images in the same size you resize the container it will be looking nicer so there's a tip for you I've seen people also resizing these and try to make them full full screen. It doesn't look good, and I don't suggest to use that um, as like the header element. Like on some websites, you can see there's there is a cover element which has uh, sliders in the background. It doesn't look good with the carousel element yet. I believe we will have something on uh, at a later point, but not not yet. Um, Byron. I'm having an issue with a video that I made with Doodly. I put it on YouTube. The video plays there, but when I place it over the VSL template, it will not play there. I have checked the automatic play under configure as well as only putting the characters required for the video under YouTube. Is there something else that I may have missed? So Byron, I'm not quite sure what video you were using and how did you use it, but the same thing applies everywhere. So whenever you're using a YouTube video, and I'll just show you quickly. I feel that I'm doing a lot of demonstrations today. Doesn't matter. I enjoy it. Um, so let's just do this in the middle. Like that. And this is now my video. And if we click on the YouTube video, as you can see here, it is asking for the video ID. The video ID is only the, only the, the part of the video, everything after the equal sign. Okay, so in case you want to start from a specific time, for example, this, I have my, my slider over here. It will start from one hour, one second. You can just copy everything over here. Copy and pop it in here. Paste. If you're using your mouse to paste, I suggest you to click left or right. I was pressing. Just do that. Time. So just press the left and right uh, buttons on your keyboard and then click update. You will see that the video is changing the background over here. Mm, okay. If this happens to you, then this could be a bug. I actually put in a video yesterday in the, in the builder and everything was okay. Let me try to do just this. let us play a bit here we go so you see i don't know what happened there i just pulled in the the, the url from the so not from the top over here but from the bottom share so everything after the the, the forward slash you can copy this one and just paste that in hopefully it will be working now i mean it loads in so let's just see yeah it works so you can try with that one, Byron, if this is an issue that you're experiencing. Let me just see if I put it on zero. I refresh the page. If I copy this over and just do this. working so i don't know what issues you are having with a, with the youtube video byron but you can see that it is working for me now try to use the the link over here so just click the share and then everything after the forward slash not the forward slash but everything after it you copy over and use as a video id then it will be working okay somebody is asking if i can see them yes richie i can see it yeah, perfect um navid i uh, let's say i have an article of two thousand words and i want it to, uh, i wanted to paste it in one go how can i uh, how can i do that okay let's just find a blog with a lot of text on it um you 
I just find a, an article on Medium about anything. Let's just click technology. Get started. I don't want to sign in. Um, review. Try Wikipedia. Wikipedia has a lot of text sometimes. Why is it so hard to find an article? Apple. Okay. Oh, this is a dictionary. Sorry, guys. Wikipedia. Okay. So let's just say that this is the text I want to copy, and I will just paste it in a couple of times. So what I would do is I would pull in the paragraph text. So I would not use anything else except the paragraph text over here, where you can just select this text and paste it a couple more times, as you can see here. If you paste it, it uh, with Control V, it will be showing up, and you will we will have different sections. Uh, as you can see here, if you click, you can just edit this one, but the rest will be staying as it is. So when you click on different parts, um, it is giving you this outline so you can you can resize them and then put on some spacing and things like that. Um, there is different types of pastings. There is Control V or Command V or Command Shift V. And let me just show you what I mean by it. So if I paste with Control V, which is just normal paste, it, sh it shows up like that, okay? If I paste with control, control paste V or com control, uh, control shift V, it pastes in differently because it doesn't give me uh, styles anymore as before, then you were clicking on different options on different uh, pieces of text but it gives you one block of text. So it is one block and you cannot resize one part of it and then move it a different one. Let me just redo it again. Okay, so I will paste with Control V, okay? And now you can see when I click on different parts, it is giving me an option to, to add on padding on and margins on the top and bottom of different sections of the text. This is control V or command V. This is just a normal pasting, okay? You get these handles and you get these types of things. If you delete everything, pasting using control shift V, if you click on different parts of the text, it is now all in one block of text. So you cannot um, edit certain parts because you don't get these drag handles anymore. You can edit one block of text um, at the same time. So. If you have a big article you want to import, I believe Control V or, or Command V pasting would need to be done. You can also do it with your mouse, um, which is Control V is just a normal paste, or Control Shift V is the paste as plain text. As you can see, this is the option inside Chrome. So if you paste uh, just a normal paste, then it will give us this option to choose different parts of the text. So that's something that you may need to know. Where are the settings to choose published to a custom domain if you have more than one? So in case you want to publish one site or one page to multiple domains, you can just click over here and publish your page. Let's just say that we want to publish this on GrooveAdvisor.com, but I want to also publish it on GrooveAdvisors.com. Okay, so in case somebody misspells it, it still goes to the same page. So Groove. Uh, advisors.com I don't own that domain but let's just say you can add on more domains if if you need I don't know if there is a limit to this one but it's just a matter of testing um, but yeah you can you can publish one site to multiple domains so in case let's just say um, somebody mistypes it or you have a dot com dot net dot org dot whatever as well then it also publishes all your changes to all this all the domains at the same time Um, I'm trying to put up my affiliate funnel landing page in Groove Pages. Can I grab an existing Groove Funnel promo video made by Mike and insert it into my affiliate funnel page? You can do that. You need to do that from YouTube. So I would suggest um, embedding. So all of the videos that are embeddable from our YouTube channel, you can use. 
Um, there are also videos which Mike shared in the Groove JV Facebook group. So in case you come over here to the um, Facebook forward slash groups forward slash Groove JV, you will be able to find videos that Mike shared that uh, shared links. Um, let's just type in here. Mike feels same. Feels amazing as his name really is. Um, that he shared the videos, for example, in the Dropbox Groove sales page trailer. Okay, and he also shares a lot of these new videos on here um, in a Dropbox file, which you can download and you can actually. Um, have the full high quality video it's not only mike joe is also pasting those uh, in so joe um so if you find their names there sometimes they are posting these links so that you can find the high quality videos from dropbox from somewhere you can download and use those in marketing um so youtube is your friend and also the groove jv group is your friend because this is where we put in these details. Um, question from Eric. Will we eventually have a site level area for the images that we upload? Currently, they, they're all grouped into one area, which is starting to get full. Um, yes, this was a feature request that was uh, that was done in the feedback.groovefunnels.com, which is somewhere opened on here, but I'll just leave it out for now. Um, yes, this is something that we are we want to do. This is something that I believe could make a lot of lives easier. Um, I don't have an estimated delivery time on that. I have a problem with ticket for over a month. Need uh, okay, so I'll need to 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 get the support to look into it. This is not something I can do now on the live stream. Paul Gray, could you give an explanation uh, of the differences between Groove Cell and Groove Card? I have started to use Groove Pages to create my website, but then started to look at Groove Card and can see how it all integrates together as it's the same look and feel as my website for my store. Okay, so Paul, there's a big distinction and it needs to be decided. Do you want to use uh do you want to sell your items in a shop type of way so that people can go there and then see all your products at the same place and then pick and choose and add to cart and delete from the cart and then go out and and uh, pub and then check out with multiple products or that's the one version or if you want to have a way of selling where person purchases one product like really purchases then you give them an upsell that they can purchase an additional product if they choose not to purchase this one you give them a downsell if they purchase this one you can give them another product to purchase so it's like a flow you don't give them everything at the same time here you go to pick and choose in a funnel type of way which groove cell does or you can give them that option which groove cart does so groove cart is a shop system where you post in all your products at the same time would it be digital or physical products and you sell everything at the same time or you want to sell things in a more systematized way more focused on on your copy more focused on your promotion more focused on your marketing this you would need to do using groove cell there is a video on that one inside the facebook group and you can find this one inside um let me just open it in a new tab over here inside a units tab or inside the getting started tab in the popular topics and posts so let's just find it in the units tab and this is the video which is talking about um how can i sell physical products using the tools from groove and as well is groove sell only for physical products so these two videos are the, your guide which will explain everything and also how uh, not this one no but these two groove sell and how to sell physical products please visit these two videos they will explain you everything um kathy i went in and edited my index page with the page name page title meta keywords meta description and open graph settings i also went in the set site settings and edited website name favicon and open graph it's been a month and i uh, and when i type in the name of the business into google it doesn't show anywhere am i missing um any other edits for seo inside groove pages kathy no this is not something that Groove handles this something that Google and and search engines handle. So, Kathy, in case you would like to appear on uh, on 
on Google as soon as your page pages are published, you will need to actually tell Google, hello, to knock, knock, Google, I'm here, please, please see me. And this is done inside Search Console. So go into Google Search Console or, or I type Groove. Uh, so Google Search Console or Google Webmaster Tools and then it will guide you to to uh, to search console as you can see here um, this is where you actually tell google like hello i'm here so here is where you tell google your domain and then continue this this step by step you need to let google know to crawl your site which he will do automatically um, after some time in case you don't do this step but in case you actually want to push it to to appear in the the search results you're saying after, after it's been a month um yeah you're just letting google handle that for you uh, it's not that smart you uh, you would need to go in and actually tell them like hello i'm here please send your bots to see my site um, and this is done in the search console so this is an important step in case you want to appear in there in the search engines so um look look into into more details on youtube and uh, and google itself about that one um is there a step-by-step -step guide to set up a GrooveCard store, uh, including integrating payment provider? Thank you so much. Uh, information and videos out there that it uh, gets very inconvenient. Oh, sorry. There is <laughs> there is so much information and videos out there, and it gets, it gets very confusing. So, Paul, we're actually doing a step-by-step -step GrooveCard training, which is called uh, the GrooveCard Challenge. So in case you have a look now, week six, week five, week four, week three, uh, week two and week one so in case you go starting from week one you watch this video and you do what it says okay you watch the week two video and you actually implement you watch the week three video and you implement um, it is hard to do one store in one video because that would be probably a seven eight hour video uh, which at one point maybe I could do but um, it would be like a groove cart marathon or something but it, it, it's actually possible to do video like that um i just didn't do it yet because um we have these groove cart trainings uh, which are separated every week on thursday we do uh, one section and then we give a week of time for the people to implement the changes so as you can see here uh groove cart trainings um on the YouTube channel and in the Facebook group, and also they're uploaded into Groove Digital Academy and also to the support. So in case you go to support.groovedigital.com, you type in GrooveCard, and it will have week one, week two, week three, week four, and so on. So you can you can just follow these ones and then learn a lot about GrooveCard. Um, Facebook user, can we save edit the images found in uh, in the great new templates to use for other sites later? No, you cannot save those images. They are created inside the templates. In case you you can edit them. So in case you load in a template, let's just say I want to load in a, one of these new pages. Let's just say I want to use this one. Okay. It will load in the, the images onto your site, onto the, onto your page. It's taking a bit of time, but it will. These images are not saved in your image library, so it will not be something that you can actually use again and again. These images were created by our designers, and then this is taking a bit too long. Um, but it is not something that is available within your uh, image library, so you cannot actually have those images saved and, and and reused on other sections you can you can duplicate them let's just try to use a different template maybe this one um here we go so let's just say i want to use this image you can duplicate them like that but you cannot save them i mean you can save them but this is not suggested you to to do um because these images and everything you see in the templates has a license and the license is allowing us 
and you basically to use these images in case you want to use this image absolutely you can in case you want to sell this that is not recommended because in case you start selling it somewhere the, the creator of this image can do legal implications against you if it stays on groove um it, you are safe if you start doing something else with these images then you are you could be in trouble and i highly suggest you don't do that you can uh, duplicate it like that and reuse the image you can resize it as well whenever you need and wherever you need for example here but that's basically the extent of it i wouldn't do any kind of modifications to it because this image has a license to use this image has a license um, if you want to change it you change it with a different image that you created that you purchased that you have but I would not suggest you changing these images over here. Thanks, did, did view that, but couldn't find it again. And also it was not 100% clear as to the differences and how they can all be linked together. Okay, I'm not quite sure what this is referring to because these are previous uh, questions. Question from Keisha. I have branded uh, using fonts in Groove. That font is not in my apps outside of Groove Word PowerPoint. Is there a free source I can tap into to get a Groove font into my apps? Not Poppins, but Railway. <gasps> no, my God. Um, so in case you want to use Railway, we actually have Railway here. As you can see, this is available. But in case you would like to use, um, we have Google fonts available to everybody. Let's just find a funky little font that is not in our library, which, for example, let's just use the, is this long can, okay? Um, you would need to actually know a bit about CSS to use this one. Um, so let's just see glyphs, okay? A download font family. It allows you to actually save it to your computer. There is somewhere on Google Fonts where it gives you the CSS code to use it. I'm not familiar with it yet, but um, if you if you search um, use Google Fonts CSS, okay, um, how to import Google Web Fonts in CSS file. And then it gives you basically the option which you would need to just put onto your page. It will be probably just a, a, a piece of code you you put in on your page, and then you can start using the the font. Okay, like this one. So in here they're using the the code on the page, which is family. Uh, it's just called a font called Sophia, and then they are using the 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 Sophia font for the for the paragraph or for the heading things like this so um, it is possible I didn't do a video on this one yet because I know we are working on adding on more fonts into the builder so that's something that will be built in very soon um, let's just see the next question is entry pop up working okay so I believe I answered this one I posted the link over here so um navid please oh this is an entry pop-up so let's just let's just see an entry pop-up create a pop-up entry pop-up i want to do this type of a design and let's just leave it as it is okay it shows on page on all pages it shows on, on every visit after a two second delay okay let's just save and exit and then let's try to publish this page onto a pop-up let's just leave it pop-up okay there we go a page is published let's just refresh there we go so one two here we go so the entry pop-up is actually working as you can see and I don't know what issues you may be having. You didn't write it out here. If yes, is it similar to a standard to create? 
as you've seen so basically pop up you just click on the pop up and you want to choose a type entry or exit let's just test the exit pop up shown every visit save and publish once it's published let's just refresh i believe we will need to refresh one more time there we go so i let's just copy this over to an incognito window just to test it out a bit better it is loaded one one two okay i believe it loaded immediately um exit on all pages show on every visit okay um one two okay it is not loading in but now when i want to exit then it shows up great so it is actually working how do we set up a test stripe account in groove cell so this is basically setting up your stripe account but inside stripe okay um, inside stripe you will um just put your account on as a test account so let me just see i hopefully will not need to confirm yes so in case this is turned on you are watching the the live uh live details in case this is turned off you are seeing uh watch test data okay so you need to know if your account is connected to a test or a live account or a live was it push live actually that's what you need to know as you can see here reveal live token when you when you put a view test then you get pk test reveal test key token so this is the details you can choose here if your uh, stripe is live you will be seeing this pk underscore live in case you want to connect a test stripe account you need to turn this on viewing test data and it will say pk test that's about stripe How do you adjust the font based on a device in Groove Pages? I'm not getting it to work. Um, please watch that video I shared here, building a domain, building a simple domain page for sale. Are there recordings for your tutorials from day one, Esther? Yes, they are. You can find them here, all of them inside the inside YouTube, inside the Facebook group, and there's loads of trainings. Every day I actually, every working day I push out the training except on holidays i'm getting a 404 error code what am i doing wrong with this domain published and okay so please don't put your domains in the comments um i cannot say what you're doing wrong host your site with us it is like it's um, impossible for me to say what you're doing wrong just from from this piece of text so let's see groovepages.com summit also don't use uh uppercase letters like summit uh 2020 shows up for me so i believe what you're doing is putting an uppercase letter this could be the issue yeah so the uppercase letter is the issue um don't use uppercase letters in your domains it is just making problems so in case you just change the uppercase s to a small s it will be loading in the page as you can see um actually i was saying there's no way for me to know but i immediately seen the the uppercase so that is sorted richie i moved my domain from namecheap to cloudflare i attach a template uh, bridge page and groove affiliate link so how what kind of question is i moved my domain from namecheap to cloudflare uh -huh. Can I attach a template, bridge page, and Groove affiliate link? Yes. Um, but can you have more than one funnel per domain? 
inside the same site you can yes um at this moment you cannot like officially create funnels there will be an another button that will be similar to the pages over here but it will be for proper proper funnels and this is coming next week i believe um so for the funnel organization then you will be able to create unlimited uh, okay this is a question that i cannot see the oh okay i believe this was answered this was one of the questions over there so please watch the replay this was one of the um the first questions i answered over there I'm in the process of setting up my first funnel, but I'm stuck on at the payment gate at the gateway integration. I've reviewed your video setting up uh, PayPal, obtaining both client and secret ID. Uh, clicked outside the box and it won't connect. I didn't have this problem in GrooveCart. Is there a box somewhere? I don't think so. Mm. Let's have a look. <clears throat> so, Groove Cell product funnel. okay i will try to actually not this one because it is not set up lemonade demo and let's just add this one gateways i believe i have two already here so let me just open another account and test this out with you um David, let's just test this one i don't have paypal connected to this one i have so many accounts on on, on groove um so groove cell i want to in, i want to go into funnels and i want to proteinix training this was one of the live trainings i created about the upsell and downsell if you're interested, you can find it in the Facebook group. Oh, sorry, in the Facebook group or on YouTube. Where am I? Here. And then I will connect the PayPal gateway. Set up gateway. I have a test Stripe account, but I will connect PayPal. Okay, so in here, I just need to, to log in, which is which I'm going to do on a, on a separate window because I don't want you to see my details like that. So give me just one moment. Bye. But for now, I don't think that there is an issue with PayPal, but we will test this out. Um, <clears throat> copy password Actually, I just clicked login and I've been authorized to use Groove Digital. I can go back to, to Groove Digital. Okay. Unable to connect your PayPal account with the marriage client error. Da -da 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 -da. Partner, not business or account. Click here to go back. Okay. So let's just refresh this page and see the gateways if it was connected or not. Okay, so this is happening for one reason, and this reason is because because we added on the PayPal Commerce. PayPal Commerce is live today, like that, and you can just log in, as you can see here, and then it says, thanks for signing up. You're now... You now have a business account and you've successfully integrated PayPal with Groove Digital. Don't forget to confirm your email so you can access payments. Okay, so I believe I need to um, to approve. I need to just click on in an email or something like that. Let's just do that together. There will be a, an in-depth video on how to use this. Uh, this has 
come on live today i believe yesterday so this is still very new i'm gonna go back to groove digital hopefully it doesn't give me the error um we'll need to look into this one i believe i need to just click on the link in the email which i cannot find right now um so could be that this is the issue i'm not quite sure i will need to come back to you on that one so yes please drop the links in youtube comments okay in sandgrid subscription needed with groove mail no was there Another place where you show workarounds with import feature. No, I just did one video. There were no workarounds at this point. How do I drag and and uh, modules in my group member site? It doesn't work. How can I fix it? So there's a lot of fixes coming shortly to group member. I believe this is going to be fixing your problem. You just need to drag as as like click and drag. Let me just show you. I have two active members. Yay. Um, online yoga course. Mm. There we go. I don't guys, have you seen the video that was published very recently? This is a video about Groove member and it was posted in the Facebook group. Um, it's a top secret video which uh, Donna posted, I believe. Donna. Here we go. So this is the sneak peek of Groove Member. It is on YouTube as a uh, unlisted, so you will not find it in the listed video. So this was just published for the Facebook group. So please have visit or search for Donna's. I will also put it in the announcements. So at uh, Topic suppose announcements. Here we go. So now when you come to the Facebook group, you can easily click on this button over here, announcements, and then one of the first ones will be will be over here. So watch this video, it will explain you what is coming to group member. But for now, um, if you want to drag, you just do these types of things. In case you want to drag it somewhere else, it is going to be disappearing because this is not part of the same category, but it will be changing very soon. Please watch the video that I showed you earlier. It will make sense into it. Um, burm, burm, burm. I'm just looking for the, for the comment where I stopped because, uh, okay, so I believe here, regarding the primary, secondary, if they are not moving for me like yours, did, is that the bug in the system? I believe you, they are not moving for you because your container is not as big. So when I when I was showing it, I, I'm now on a different account, I sh when I was showing it, I um, extended my container so what i did darcy was let me just open a new page hopefully this is a blank page no it is not um i will open a blank page over here and what i did is i put in an empty container and in this empty container i pulled in just a button like that the next thing was to click on the container itself so i'm now on the block click on the container and just drag it out so that there is space where you can where you can go if if it is if the container is so small in the layout it will not be doing much except moving horizontally like this it will not be centered on top and bottom and things like this because this is not allowing it to to, to go anywhere so in, immediately if you give it space then it, you can see that it is going on left and right um boom, boom, boom. David, your trainings are the only trainings I attend live because I get so much out of them. Thank you very much, Linda. Um, I had a dream about containers last night. This is it. This is what you want to achieve, guys. Uh, dream in the builder. If you dream in the builder, that means you're on a good path to... to you know, 
most of the good ideas I get are because of the builder. Because, for example, now I want to connect this button, and you probably seen. Um, let me just remove this comment. Um, you probably seen these galleries and all kinds of things like that. And sometimes you wish you could just just press that image and make it bigger. And the other day when I was dreaming, or I was not there, I was sleeping and then dreaming something. I wanted to actually. I don't know what I was thinking, but I um, I dreamt up, or I was I was thinking in my sleep inside the builder, and I came up with a solution of how to actually make this uh, image show up as a as a bigger image. So what I did is I I can create I I this came in, into my dream, so I can create a pop up with with some text on it. For example, I can delete these things, but put in an image over here on the pop up, and this way, there we go. This one, okay. We delete this. We delete the container, and now I can have this image centered. Okay, so I need to put it in a, in a container. Let's just put it in a container, like that. Here we go, and I can center it here on the page. I can make the image bigger like that and hopefully i can now delete this there you go so now inside i can put in a bigger version of this same image and i can connect this to uh let's just make this a bit bigger like that save and exit and now i can connect this image to a pop-up which i just created and it will be like a i don't know if this is the name of the pop-up pop-up too um I just save and preview. So this is like a light box that you create using pop-ups, and this came into my dream, which you can like you cannot scroll left or right. What you could do is maybe put a, a carousel element on the pop-up. That could that could look good. But this is something that I, I I dreamt of how to do, and it was actually good. So Linda, if you are doing this already, that is a very good sign. Um. Can you have more than one photo showing at the same time in Carousel? Mm, okay, I, I understand. You're trying to have two images to slide. You can do that, but you would need to actually create the image. Um, let's see if I have an image like that. You would need to in the photo editor. You would need to you would need to put that together the images like that. So when they are scrolling, they are going two of them. Um, in a in a carousel, you cannot select that the two images that were set up separately that they are scrolling. Um, but you could do like an image in Canva where you put an image on the top, image on the bottom, and then they are scrolling this way. Um, what size should the width of an image be to go full width on the screen when viewing a desktop and all other devices? This is not something I can tell you. This is this is not as set as an aspect ratio. It needs to be probably around 1,000 or bigger. So if uh, a lot of desktops are, are showing things in a full HD or bigger, um, so you probably want a full HD image or something like that. When I'm doing images that I want to use in the background, let me just see an image. For example, this image I, I'm using in the background, and as you can see, 1920 is the width of um, of a full HD image. It if it would be a proper full HD, it would be 1920 by 1080. But I just managed the width from 4,000 something pixels to a full HD width. So I can use this image uh, in, the, in the background over here. And then it will still be looking good on mobile because um, it is high quality image. Um, it is too big, as you can see, almost half a megabyte. So I'm I'm not very keen on using these huge images on, on backgrounds um, on mobile. But I mean, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I think David gets so involved that he forgets to drink his lemonade. Yes, I actually don't have a lemonade for today, but I got some water. 
and I want to just pump out as much and as many answers as you as I can there's a couple more to go I want to finish by two hours 15 and I want to show you this new new thing that I wanted to do with a new affiliate links everyone is sent to the free sign up page how will you get shared commission for upgrading when a hybrid programs arrive um, so when a hy hybrid program arrives you will be notified this will uh, be a new feature with new code inside and it will group cell will be counting it differently for now <clears throat> just think about how you can promote it <coughs> don't i don't know what they're planning to be honest um you got to share commission for upgrading will have okay uh, if the only link you have is free user back to the sign up page uh, i understand what you're saying but believe me the the creators of this software are not dummy people and they if they came up with a hybrid affiliate program, they know what how they will be separating that one. So I don't know what the plan is, but I'm pretty confident that I don't have to worry about it because there are people that worry about that. So for you now, I don't know your name or I cannot see who you are, but just, just, just worry and try to push out as much links as possible. Once you get them signed up to your affiliate link you don't have to worry about anything else they will be your affiliates for life even if the hybrid comes in and if they don't upgrade with you if somebody pushes them to upgrade you will get a piece of it so as much as as many people as you can uh you can sign up using your affiliate link before the hybrid option comes out that's your goal for now question from tamali uh can we have a call about my two sites with one uh, with one email address so i can get it changed i had a ticket for over a month uh tammy i'm not in charge of tickets i will ask the support to look into this one but i <laughs> it's not something i can i can help you with at this point um richie when you click on a partner program and the affiliate links what is the difference between the group funnels link and the affiliate link right uh under in promos so try to try to click on it try to open it and then try to see it there is a difference um if it is not a visible difference then probably with some tracking difference um i'm not quite sure so just just try to click on them open them and see what it does uh pa -pa -pa stun stun is groove mail up and running i've been uh, away and urgently needed loving the groove it is not yet stun i don't know how to pronounce that one stun probably click on the announcements tab and you will see a post from donna it says i don't see any reason why groovemail won't be released on monday and she is referring to monday 14th um, for the people that are watching the replay you probably have groovemail so you don't have to worry about that one but for everybody that is watching live we're very very excited about groovemail um is there a way to add color overlay on a background image without css right now i'm using uh canva to do this but being able to add a uh, color with transparency over an image would be much easier melissa what you are talking about is this one basically i have an image in the background and i can add on a color and then put an overlay you can see that it works this works only on the block section you cannot uh create now you can see i'm in the container i can choose a different background on here background image let's just choose these people over here as a background image however on a container level you cannot put a color overlay that is not something that css allows you to do at this point so on a container level you would need to do an image save an image with an overlay for from something like canva or photo p or photoshop or photo whatever and use that one but on a block level you can as demonstrated in the in this one so you can either have on a container level you can have a transparent color like that or you can have an image um back to the image usage question i can understand you saying we can't use them in websites or funnel away from group but why can't we use them on our other groove websites pages you can just import the, the the funnel like just add on the what you can do is for example i want to use this image over here let's just find a different i want to use this one I, what i would do is i would save this block as a no category and i would just use it on a different image so i would just pull in that that block that i just saved which is somewhere around here here we go 
I will just pop that in somewhere. Here we go. I and I missed it. Here we go. Um, now, as you can see, I can use on a different page. If if I want, I can exit and use it on a different site. You can use this image. If it stays inside Groove, you are okay. Can a event code Facebook Pixel be placed on just in just a pop up for a page to track intention? This is not something I would suggest you to do. Um, it could mess up the the tracking on your pages. If somebody loads in your page and if somebody clicks on that button, um, like I don't know what you have in the pop up. If this is a form, then just track the action with a thank you page like what happens after the form was completed but don't put pixels in the pop-ups that that could potentially mix up the the build of your pages um so if this is a form just set up the form action or the redirect url um to a page and then on the page you can set up a tracking pixel where when can we start popping lemon drops so for now i have eight or nine videos created but it is going slowly because i'm alone i'm doing all kinds of things for for trainings i'm testing this software out i'm in the community and also recording editing and putting the <clears throat> the whole thing together so it is a bit slower than usual but slowly it's coming um Okay, so I will take 15 more minutes to answer questions. David, I'm undecided on email CRM I should uh, use until GrooveMail is released. So I ask for you and others' recommendation, which system option between Keep, which I got an incredible discount on Active Campaign, which is most expensive than more expensive than Keep, or get response basically email system that I hope integrates with. Uh, her group pages would be good in your opinion so michael for now i would stay with avaber and this is because they have a good free account or mailchimp i understand you're trying to to go into more expensive options but if you purchase this now on a monthly version and in less than five days groove mail comes out I understand it will not be as stable. Um, so actually, one, two, three, four, four days for now. Hopefully, it is actually live on Monday. Um, you will have Groove Mail. You will have another platform that you purchased for a good amount of of money, most probably. And during these couple of days, I really don't suggest you to buy anything. Um, what I would do, I do suggest you to do is wait until GrooveMail is finished. And then if you need something more stable immediately, then jump on that offer. Um, I don't know if this is a timed offer for um, that you can use with Keep, but that's something I would suggest. Other people may suggest something else. I would suggest this one. So just see what is the most, the best thing for you. My 404 code was created because I was using an uppercase letter. Thank you for being able to quickly see the problem. I appreciate you. No problem. Um, question, how do I delete my membership? It just loads and gives me error back. And yep, this is something we are uh, pushing out the fix for. Um, I just re up my stream here. That was my question about the hybrid affiliate program. Okay, perfect. Great. So, Brian, um, I can see you now. That's great. And the uh, affiliate program, yeah. So, more information will be coming soon on that one. Hi, David. Do you have any idea <clears throat> when will we be able to link our courses from member to check, check out pages in order to fulfill the order? Thank you and thank you for your time. Absolutely. Um, I don't have an inf any information and update of time when that will be done but i know that it will be done soon because we are also uh, planning to push out uh, not push out but we also want to use groove member with groove cell connected and this is something that is being worked on as we speak 
Um, did I see a post that the partner program is now up and running? Um, you mean a partner contracts? Uh, yes, the partner contracts is live. So when you come into Groove Cell, you can go into the funnel section. You can come into partner contracts and then you can actually create a contract. The contract is something that is automatic. And let's just say Rob plus David contract. Okay, let's just use this same thing as a description. Then you go next. Product details, which funnel are you cooperating on? Which funnel uh, from me, Rob, will be getting a cut on? So let's just say that protein x training <clears throat> any product that is purchased inside this funnel at any price point rob will get a cut of it and this is me the vendor here you would be able to use the username um, you need to get that person your partner to sign up to group funnels to be able to use this but let's just say that this is now rob and i would be able to add him so i don't know rob's email so i'll just use my email so it is uh, I just use loopslit dot at gmail dot com. This is one of my test accounts as well at partner, and I have a test account here. You can decide the percentage, like how what's the percentage you want to share. As you can see here, we have numbers from zero to one hundred, and then if you set up like fifty cut, fifty percent cut, then immediately this number changes as well for the vendor. So. Now, let's say Rob and me did a contract and he will get a cut of 50% and I will get a cut of 50%, which is going to be automatic. So now we created this partner contract. We can click save and exit. Now, here is our partner contract. We need to make sure we put the status on. And inside the funnel section, we can see partner contract distribution. So this is where we will see the... Uh, the how much the partner earned how much uh, is still unpaid how, mu how much is being processed how much is on hold and their emails and things like this it is looking very similar to the reporting section of of the affiliates um but yeah basically you will be able to to filter by selected partners you can see what funnels you want how much how many lines you want to show up and things like this so the partner contracts is actually quite cool and you can use this yes all uh, right ah okay that's why it wasn't working thank you thank you that will save me so much time and headaches absolutely no problem i love your background lightning matches team of the day a yellow lightning thursday q a red yep <laughs> please remind me what monday tuesday friday theme and color um so mondays we build we do live builds so i um i see what is the most most requested thing in the facebook group and i do a live build on this one uh last week or actually when when was that um i believe this week was um responsiveness people were having issues with responsiveness so i found uh, a topic i found a niche as you can see here um oh no this monday was was the 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 email list i've seen a lot of people like i don't know where to start i don't know where to start so i just created a, a topic where i will build out a page show how to connect it with this how to do actually uh, how to uh, pull in the emails and things like that Last week, there was something else, like creating a funnel, I believe, uh, or something like that. So there is no set color on those days. On Tuesdays and Fridays, I just see something that I need to I need to update you guys on. So tomorrow's uh, video will be... Could you type or spell the system that you recommend? Um, okay, so Michael is asking, could you type or spell the system that you recommend? Absolutely. And uh, this is possible to see here in the My Integrations. And this is Aweber. So A-W-E-B-E-R. Okay, it's available over here. Or MailChimp. MailChimp is popular. Because these two, uh, Michael, give you free accounts. So you can decide if you want to use those and continue using it. And Aweber is quite good. The other ones, I'm not quite sure if they have free accounts where you can just sign up without a credit card and start using it immediately. Um, I don't believe so, 
but even then most of the most of the the beginning um levels of of get response or campaign monitor active campaign or, or or keep we don't have integration with keep so maybe you can keep this in mind maybe you can keep this in mind <laughs> pun intended um maybe you would probably need to go with one of these as an option at the beginning um or wait for groove mail so yeah darcy i was speaking about the the colors and i wanted to mention which I wanted to mention from the beginning. Um, there's a new thing that came out today and it was planned here. So let me just show you. If you go to groovefunnels.com forward slash infographic, I will be putting out an update and announcement uh, into the group, but something else is now available. And this is Groove Cell Marketplace. Okay, so how to actually get in there. So when you go into to over here like marketplace you click groove marketplace you can see that it it still shows that it is it is coming uh or actually now it there is a button so you can go to groove marketplace but this is not the marketplace which we are talking about groove cell marketplace is different so let's just say to affiliate marketplace okay um it yeah this is the one that i wanted to click so if you go to affiliate marketplace, this is now published. However, it's, it is not showing up here yet. We need to uh, connect this button. It is so fresh. It was just recently released before I started this uh, this live stream. It's so fresh that we didn't connect it yet, but you can still come in and see it. And the way you do that is going into Groove Affiliate. And here is the marketplace. So you click on the marketplace before it was saying coming soon. But now you can see the top performing affiliate programs. As you can see, here is our girl Angie Norris's Groove Star Center program. In case you want to sign up uh, for her for promoting her uh, program, you can. You click this one. Are you sure you want to sign up for this affiliate program? Yes, absolutely. So now you became Angie's affiliate. Okay, you can access her promo tools, and you can. Uh, get your links um, to promote it you can access your um, all kinds of different things that you are actually interested in over here blog reviews signatures video reviews let's just see if she has re video reviews no she doesn't she does have banners um and things like this so you can you can do that over here uh from the promo tools you can now access all kinds of different uh affiliate programs and you may be thinking you may be thinking, how do I get on this list? How do I get into this affiliate marketplace? And let me just show you something. On the page three, you can see Lemonade Demo Protein X. So at this moment, in case you have the affiliate option turned on in Groove Cell, it is automatically getting you in here. As you can see, Lemonade Demo is one of my personal accounts, and then the ProteinX training was done with another account of mine. So these these people are basically me. And it is um, automatic. So in case you turned on affiliate uh, aff affiliate program in, in your products or in your product funnel, it is showing up automatically. This is just the bare bones of the system. There will be so much more coming into this one, but we just needed to push this out so that that it is out there. People can use it and people can uh, people can see the the what is selling. And in case you don't have a product, you can just come over here and then um, start selling somebody else's product. Like I know Charlene Lian's. Uh, Honor Summit Online Creators Premium Power Pack is out there. Um, as you can see, here is her name. If you want, you can sign up for her affiliate program and things like this. In case you don't want to have your uh, affiliate program in the affiliate marketplace, there will be very soon a, an option which you can uh, turn on and off so that it doesn't show up over here. But that's the very, very beginning of the affiliate marketplace, which will at one point be a very, very big marketplace with, uh, with which competition will be JVZoo, Groove, uh, the ClickBank and things like this. So this is the start of it. We are going to be doing filtering and all kinds of different things like health programs and, and like courses or physical products and then health and then all kinds of things. But this is 
now live and this is available so in case you want to start building out your sites uh, and don't or actually want to start making money and don't have a platform to promote now you have <laughs> it's not only groove that you can promote now you can promote some other people's products as well um yes so that i wanted to say and and then as as i mentioned previously our um inside groove cell inside the payment gateway options we have the the paypal partner contracts not part i'm talking nonsense um paypal commerce is released and this was today yesterday i'm not quite sure but it is now released as you've seen i i got into a small error i will check this with the devs what that means but in case you have a paypal business account you can just log in through groove cell payment gateway integration it will ask you just to log into your paypal account and it will handle everything from there so most probably from now we will not be needing the the api and the secret key and the, that and the all kinds of nonsense we will be able to use just the login to to connect paypal but these are the two new things i wanted to tell you about and this is now available and you can start using it as soon as right now so um mine is saying error establishing a database connection i'm not quite sure what did you try but just log out and log back in try to do a hard reload in case you cannot see everything so that is it guys it is two hour and 15 minute mark this is where i wanted to finish it thank you very much for watching don't forget tonight we have a groove card training this is a um, groove card um the 60 week groove card challenge and we are coming close to finalizing the lovely miss christine cases store so if you were following so far please join us tonight as well um, at 12 p.m sorry 6 p.m eastern standard time or 12 12 a.m central european time tonight groove card training so with that say i exited that lemonade image i didn't want to do that here we go um this was our q a session number 14 and thank you very much guys for watching it hopefully see you in tonight's training and in the group bye for now <laughs>